Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today Minecraft Winnie Zombie has gone ahead and invited us for a wonderful challenge where apparently he wants us to go ahead and figure out why all of these gravestones have been put by the village but I have a feeling it has something to do with us because every single one of these could hold one of our corpses so let's go and speak to Minecraft Winnie Zombie and let's go see what he wants us to do Hello Naveed, you don't have much time the villagers are angry at you they found you stole some of their supplies and now they want you dead. They have built some torture mechanisms for every single time you die. So build a house to stay safe. Wait, are you trying to say that these are for us if we don't build shelter? Okay, that can't be good. I guess we're running out of time so we need to go ahead and get started before the villagers attack us. So let's start cutting down some trees. But guys, before we get started, don't forget the majority of you guys aren't subscribed yet. Wait! What's going on? Okay, the ang the villagers are definitely angry at us. That's not good. Um, I've only managed to get one oak wood. Maybe we have to go ahead and fight him with these very simple items. No, it's going to be ever so challenging. Ah, uh, Mark, did you know this was going on? This is absolutely awful. But if you go ahead and press the subscribe button, you'll never miss another video again. Well, let's go fight off this guy that seems to be some sort of villager guard for protecting these gravestones. Maybe we went ahead and stole some items. Okay, let's go fight him off as fast as we can and hopefully a few hits and he should be destroyed. But building a shelter is going to be ever so challenging. Perfect. Come on. <laughs> He's pretty much destroying us faster than we can attack him, which is actually pretty bad for us. Maybe I need to go ahead and get out some swords. Mark, what do you think? Do you think we can go ahead and do this? Let me cut down a few of these trees over here and slowly by slowly we should be able to get enough gear to defend ourselves. But I'm a little bit scared that this is going to be more challenging than we could have ever have expected. Building a house exactly like the villagers one is definitely going to take quite some time. So let me just start by collecting some wood and we should be able to go ahead and build the basics with no time left over whatsoever. Mark, do we have until night time? I'm pretty sure the sun is right above us so let's quickly rush out and let me head to the forest to get out some more wood I think that's gonna be our best decision cool okay the forest right around here definitely holds enough wood for our house so I'm gonna get quite a few logs I have a feeling the villagers are definitely out to go ahead and trick us so let's take as many items as we can making sure not to get ourselves in trouble with any of the villagers which I'm pretty sure could be a whole challenge in itself but I did notice only the blue villagers were attacking us, which gives me a feeling we have to go ahead and protect ourselves against the blue ones only. So let me just go and get a few more wood. Now, so far, I've got about 18 words, but I can now start to hear some very unusual wolf sounds. Can you guys see anything? Whatever it is, it has to be around here somewhere. Wait, I think I found them. Okay, the villagers must have let loose their mutated wolves. Let's go and destroy these guys as fast as we can. But we're not going to be able to do it with the right weapons. So let's rush off as fast as we can. And let's go and convert all of our logs into planks, which should hopefully help us out pretty quick. Okay, I think we've got enough. Mark, I need your help. I can hear some evil wolves that won't leave us alone unless we actually build that structure we need. So I could start by going ahead and doing in our very own crafting table perfect let's go and place this right inside our house as long as i can find mark wait is that another evil villager okay yep he definitely is <laughs> okay let's go and try and fight him and then we should be able to spawn back next to mark huh, thank goodness well mark i'm gonna go ahead and build our house right around here and then we can check out to see exactly where we've pretty much been added to the torture mechanism so i'm gonna make it a four by four and perfect making sure that we can go ahead and add everything as fast as we can and there we go and let me add my crafting table right inside the corner perfect this is coming along slowly but nicely so let me go ahead and take out the basic items that we need which is going to be a few sticks so we can go ahead and make our pickaxe as well as we can go ahead and make an axe to cut these trees down a little bit faster and then we can also get out as much cobblestone as we need let me just take down this piece and perfect what's that mark they finally added our body no this is awful okay i have no idea what happens when we go ahead and actually fill up these last three spots but look it's our first body with our very own gravestone we're about to figure out what we died from it was either werewolf poisoning or the attack from the villager 
Ah, oh, this is such a shame. Okay, now let me start to go ahead and dig down so we can go ahead and get some other weapons. I'm going to need a stone sword as fast as we can get one. Villagers, I'm going to start digging down. Make sure that none of you guys fall through because if they do, it would be another disaster for us. Perfect and good. Well, let's start digging up all of this stone so we can build our furnace, build parts of the lower wall, and maybe find some other items. I'm hoping we can find some iron if we get the chance. But let me go ahead and dig around as fast as we can. I'll now be back in one second. Oh, and I just found some iron. This is so great. Everything's coming along perfectly. So once we kill off all of the evil villagers, we won't have to guard ourselves inside our house anymore, which should be our goal. So let me just dig out a few more stones, and I think we should be good. Okay, let's rush back quickly before any more evil monsters appear. Okay, let's dig our way up. And good, slowly by slowly making it to the top. And I'm pretty sure Marco Funny Zombie should be waiting for us. Yep, he still is. So I was going to use these cobblestones to build the same layout as if we were creating a villager's house. So if anything turns, we could go ahead and just leave this house for them. Let me just build this area. And perfect. Let me just fill up these gaps. And good. And let's build for ourselves our very own furnace. Because I'm going to need it to go ahead and get all of that iron out. Okay, let me put this right next door. And awesome. And then I think maybe I could go ahead and make our own chest. That could come in handy as well. And awesome. Mark, what do you think, my friendly zombie? Everything's coming together very nicely. And we haven't been added to another one of these torture mechanisms, which is going to be great news for us. Okay, let me go and finish up, and let's start making our very awesome tools. I am going to need a few more sticks, and perfect. And I might start off by going ahead and making for ourselves a sword. So now we can defend ourselves as fast as we can. Let me also make a pickaxe. And then hopefully we actually have enough for our upgraded axe. And let me see if we got this. Perfect. And there we go. Let's add these final items and then we can make our axe. There we go. Mark, we're doing so well. And I'm going to store all the items I hopefully won't need for now, which is going to be actually great news. And I could actually go ahead and make for ourselves our door. Here we go. And perfect. <laughs> this is so much quicker than I could have ever have expected. And we're also going to need some sand to build some glass. Well, let's keep our eyes open and hopefully we should have enough items. If we were to go ahead and follow the same layout as all the villagers' houses, they do go ahead and do another layer of oak logs. But I have realized the flooring should have probably have been oak logs as well. So let me just go and do this side, and perfect, by leaving a few gaps for all of our windows, and then filling up the rest with empty blocks. And let's just go ahead and do this as fast as we can. Perfect, and there we go, making sure that we still leave enough gaps, and awesome. Wait! Who are these golems? Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Let's go and fight them off and let's go and see if we can do this. No! They're actually a lot more powerful than I expected. Oh, and they've given us a bone chest plate. Ah, oh, this should keep us protected for now. Let's go and then kill them and let's go and see if we can get any other items. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Okay, these golems are a lot faster and stronger than I expected. Quickly, let's do this. Mark, I could easily do with your help. I'm perfect. They've given us another bone leggings. Okay, let's put this on. I'm perfect. And let's go and see if we've got any more. I'm guessing they're here to go ahead and help us get a full bone outfit. Yes, it's working. Okay, let's put on our bone helmet. And let's go and attack the final one that should give us, hopefully, bone boots. There we go. And awesome. Yes. Did we get anything? <laughs> if we didn't, that is absolutely awful. Um, oh, wait, I think they're right around here. And awesome. Let's put this on. Let's go and have a quick look. Cool. <laughs> this looks so much better. Oh, man. Mark is actually telling us that we've been added to the next torture mechanism, which is basically the cages. So, so far, we've been hanged. We've been shoved inside a cage. And then we've got a burning stake. And then finally, the stocks. Okay, we need to really hurry up. We've got to build these houses fast enough because once we do, all the villagers will suddenly turn peaceful. So, let's look around for some items. And hopefully, we should be able to do this. Now, I might start looting some of these gravestones. Let me just start destroying them as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure we should be able to find something. There we go. And great. And I think I'm just finding loads and loads of zombie flesh and then just loads of stone, which might not be too good for us. But it would be good to go ahead and store all of these items for later. Oh, and I think I found a diamond axe. 
Perfect! <laughs> we should have done this so much sooner. That would have made everything so much quicker. Okay, let me start breaking a few of these trees that we left over from before. And awesome. And let's go and do this. I do think there is a villager nearby. Okay, let's hurry up before he actually goes ahead and sees us and then tries to kill us. As soon as he does, he will go ahead and add us to the final torch mechanism. Quickly, let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we made it out alive. Mark, what do you think? I'm going to have to go ahead and dig down again and get some more cobblestone. I'm really, really lacking right now. And we've also been given loads of zombie heads. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe we've died from falling. Quickly, let's rush back because we've almost finished off this house and then we should be done. I'm a little bit scared though that we might encounter some evil monsters down below. Hello. Is it only two? Oh, three irons. Perfect. That's way better than I could have ever expected. Now, let's just go ahead and dig out as much cobblestone as we can, solely for the roof uh, stables, and then we're going to need some more oak logs for the roof itself. So let me just go ahead and do this. And perfect. Making sure we keep enough items. And then we can turn all of the bones we got from the gravestones into bone meal. So we can pretty much hide our whole house inside loads of different trees. So let's make our way up. And good. And hopefully Mark our friendly zombie should be able to help us with the next few items. Let's go and head over. And perfect. Let me get my cobblestone out with our iron items. And perfect. Let's swap these over. And I'm hoping maybe I can use my tools to go ahead and light these things. Let's throw this in. And perfect. Let's see if this works. Perfect. <laughs> I'm so glad it does. Now we won't have to waste anything. Okay. So I'm going to make this a uh, three cobblestones high. And perfect. Doing the exact same right around here. And awesome. And then let's just do this side. And perfect. And then the final one. And then we can know exactly how many items we need. And there we go. And now thinking about it, I am going to need to go ahead and get some of the sounds I've just seen from the distance. Because I think I'm going to need about five glass or even four glass that to finish off our house. Okay, let's go ahead and get this and we should be able to just light them as fast as we can. Perfect. And good. There we go. I think that should be enough. If we need any more, we can just go ahead and cover the gaps with some more oak logs. Mark, what do you think? We're almost done. But I'm a little bit scared this house might not keep us as safe as we expect. And I'm I'm pretty scared as well that the next torture mechanism is only a few away. Let's go and see. Perfect. <laughs> and let's go and change our weapon into an iron sword. And then that should easily work out for us. Maybe my next step then is to go ahead and use up these doors to make the final piece. Let's just go ahead. Let's go and craft our iron sword and perfect. And then we can go ahead and swap these out. And then I might not need all the items that we have. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And let's just go ahead and then use the final one to make all of our glass. And then I think I could go ahead and craft these slowly by slowly into planks because I'm just going to need a couple more right around uh, there. Perfect. Let me actually store away all the items we won't need because I've got so many wasteful items. Wait, can you guys hear that? Whoa, Mark, there's something right behind you. Okay, I think he's maybe trying to go and eat Mark off any zombie. Let's go and try and fight him off as fast as we can. No, he's got an ultimate power around him. And I think he's actually trying to go ahead and steal our items. Quickly, let's go and do this. Perfect. I think we need to go ahead and attack his core. It's probably the most sensitive area that we can go ahead and fight him. Quickly, let's do this. Perfect. <laughs> I think it's working. I am so glad we've got these armies because without them, this would have been one of the most challenging things ever. I wonder how long this is going to take. Mark, he's dropping items everywhere. Let's go and try and do this. Quickly, he's powering up. Okay, let me go and try and hide out in our house. Run! Wait, did we attack him? Um, or maybe he actually disappeared. <laughs> if that is what happened, we've somehow been given a free block of emerald. And we were able to go ahead and fight our next monster. Okay, I think our glass should almost be done. Ah, oh, if we ran out of pieces. Let me just go and throw in these last few planks and that should easily work. So I was going to go ahead and put the glass slowly by slowly all the way around. And then fill up the top area with a few free cobblestones that we've got. Perfect. And then do the final area right around here. And I'm pretty sure slowly by slowly that should work for us. But I'm going to need to go ahead and dig out some more items. Well, I could actually go ahead and do the final roof pieces with some oak log. And maybe we can even go ahead and make it a little bit better. Well, it is going to look pretty tiny in here. But this is going to be the best option that we have. And maybe we could even go ahead and make it better. 
Do you know what, guys? Give me a few minutes. I'm going to go in and get out some more wood pieces, and hopefully we can fight off the next few monsters and make our house look even better. We definitely need to go ahead and finish off our glass as fast as possible. But I have actually gone ahead and added a few more things. So I've changed the little rooftop and I've added a few oak logs. And I've still got a few spare, which is actually really awesome for us. And I've also had some bad news. That all the villagers that want to kill us are back on track. Now that they've gone ahead and found our house, this is probably going to be a little bit more challenging for us. And yes, we've killed one. Okay, let's keep going. Perfect. We're down another one. Wait. They've almost killed us. Okay, let's rush over as fast as we can. And now they're even coming out from my cave. No! <laughs> uh, they're everywhere. Uh, this is awful. And Mark has even told us that we've been added to the next torture mechanism, which was the burning stake. Okay, quickly, let's rush back as fast as we can. And let's go and finish off this house. Because if we don't, they're going to attack us. Oh, this is so crazy close. So we don't need anything else in there. I probably could go ahead and keep our emerald block actually out. I want to keep that as a souvenir. And I could probably go ahead and change all of these final oak logs into little planks to fill up the roof. Quickly, let's do this. And perfect. And I actually want to leave an opening so we can go ahead and check out to see if anything is left over. Um, I don't need anything else in there. And if we get some time, let's change all of these items into some ladders. I'm probably going to need quite a few right now. Let me just change over. And perfect. Let's swap all of these out. And there we go. And hopefully this should be enough to actually go ahead and take us to the roof. So let me take these items out. And perfect. Let's swap them over. And hopefully this should be good enough. Let's go and have a close look. Yep, I think we've done it. Okay, even though we've had a crazy fight today, hopefully we can almost be done. And to scare everyone off, I could go ahead and add zombie heads to all the corners. That should definitely do a nice challenge. And then to the final stocks, instead of adding our body, we can go ahead and add one of the villagers. And then that should easily scare them. <laughs> See, we've done it. Well, guys, I think we've completed this challenge. We've gone ahead and built a very basic house, which has taken us almost forever. And we've made it look quite nice inside. The only thing I could probably get away with is by going ahead and actually stealing one of these villager beds. Okay, let's rush up to the top. Let's rush into one of their houses where for sure we can find some beds. And hopefully this should work out. Well, guys, it's been really awesome today going ahead and completing this challenge. Hopefully next time we can go ahead and do it without dying too many times but the great news is we now found our bed we should easily complete our wonderful house so guys i will see you soon in the crazy minecraft video and don't forget to like this video subscribe down below button is red and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell and guys i'll see you all very soon peace out